As a management consultant, I believe that you will be a more successful professional wedding planner if you better understand, evaluate, and manage the true motivators of the American wedding industry. Welcome to New Wedding Planet. The average cost of the weddings back then was $400, which translates into less than $6,000 today. Their brilliant strategy was to convince brides that diamonds were traditional for wedding rings when that had not been the case. Only after World War II was it possible to produce relatively cheap white synthetic cloth and the wedding industry capitalized on this. A magazine entitled Brides began in 1934 and still is the Brides Bible, far ahead of today's Bridal Guide and Martha Stewart Wedding. In 1924, Marshall Field started the first gift registry and quickly opened it up exclusively to brides. Some stores began working directly with wedding planners. The growth of the internet in the 1990s gave couples even more ideas and options. This means that you as a wedding planner have a lot of competition and you should make yourself better informed about what is out there so that you can with greater confidence offer your clients unique options. Sixty percent of couples consult bridal magazines. Thirty-eight percent attend a bridal fair or event. Seventy-seven percent use the internet. Eighty-eight percent consult family and friends. And fifteen percent use wedding planners, coordinators, or consultants. The average wedding cake alone cost approximately $700 for this $28,000 wedding. The average wedding gown was $1,300. For many brides, this is the most she will ever pay for a dress she will wear only once. Check all of these things out for ideas you can consider, reject, or use in your wedding business. Because brides are now more savvy about this history, your bridal client may ask what partnerships, affiliations, cuts, or conflicts of interest you might have. The markup on these dresses made in China is huge. Since the lead time is usually seven months between deciding on a gown and wearing it at the wedding, there is plenty of time for the smaller shops to order the gown and make the alterations required. As an ethical planner, caution your client to decide for herself what she wants her total outfit to be and to resist the suasion of the salesperson who is probably working for a commission. What I'm going to do now is so important that I want to read to you 
these pointers developed by New Wedding Planet that will be vital for the success of your business. By adopting the new paradigm that I've been speaking about, you will in the first place know your clients better by understanding and supporting them as their counselor. You will know enough about the business to save them money while assuring that they will have quality outcomes. And finally, save yourself embarrassment from being associated with commissions and kickbacks and percentages by charging them a flat fee.